Our book today is Desert Baths by Darcy Pattison, illustrated by Kathleen Wrights. So remember what by means, okay, or written by? That means that that person wrote the words, okay? And illustrated by means, yeah, that they made the pictures, okay? We have been talking about the desert and desert animals. This week we're gonna look at books that show us desert animals throughout the whole day, from like morning through the day and into the night and overnight. Okay, so this first one shows us how different animals in the desert take a bath. And they do it at lots of different times of the day. What time of the day do you take a bath? Okay. The desert dawn sends light washing over the land. The turkey vulture wakes and turns east, stretching his wings to warm up in a sun bath. Early morning water drops glisten here and there, a light scattering of dew. And Anna's hummingbird slides down a leaf, rubbing her breast feathers in the dew then flies, shaking off the extra water. After her bath, she perches and preens. That means she like plucks at her feathers and kind of cleans herself. The desert tortoise peeks out of his burrow, hoping for a late morning rain, but the skies are clear. Liz? No bath today. He retreats from the heat into his shady burrow. The roadrunner dashes from shade to shade, riding, hiding from the hot noon sun. He stops in an open spot and scratches the dirt until it's soft and dusty. He dips his breast, flutters his wings, and shuffles his feet, kicking up a cloud of dust. After his death bath, he shakes and dashes again for shade. Do you want to pretend to take a dust bath? Can you scratch at the pretend dirt under your feet? And then flutter your wings to make it fly up around you and shake your body in the dust. And then shake it all off. All right, let's see who's next. The mule deer doe visits the fawn's bedding area. The fawns are the baby deer. The twins suckle then the doe grooms them. The doe moves off to graze while the fawns doze in the early afternoon heat. Late afternoon heat shimmers above the dry ground. A diamondback rattler wiggles, scrapes, twists, and rolls, turning his skin inside out. Now he's fresh and clean, one size larger. Rattle! When he shed his skin, he also added a bead to his rattle. So there's his rattle and see all the little notches? Those are called beads. And he gets one more every time he sheds his skin. There's his old skin back there that he just got off. Just as the sunset stains the western sky, the scaled quail hops onto an insect, an ant nest. She picks up an ant in her beak and strokes it under her wings and across her side feathers. When she finishes her anointing or ant bath, she calls, Becos, Becos, Becos. Under the glittering evening stars, the western banded gecko shakes his head. The air is dry and dusty. His long tongue flicks out to lick his eyeballs, keeping them moist and clear. Now his dung tongue darts out, catching a baby scorpion for breakfast. Can you lick your eyeballs? My tongue's not long enough. I can try. Can you try to lick your eyeballs? Lizards have long tongues. 
the javelina trots to a small seep of water, a place of thick, cool mud. He rolls and scratches and wallows. Then he stands and shakes. It's night, time to forage. Forage means to look for food. The pallid bat flies low, listening for insects. It dips and snatches a scorpion from the ground. By midnight, he is full and roosts in a crevice. He takes a spit bath, licking his fur. When he is clean and rested, he lurches up and flies to hunt again. A number of animals clean themselves by licking themselves. Would you like to take a bath by licking yourself all over? That seems kind of yucky to us, but that's how a lot of animals take a bath. In the wee hours of the morning, the coyote drops to rub and roll, taking a grass bath. His hind leg scratches his stomach. He bites at something tickling his paws. Then he stops and cocks his ears. He stands and answers his pack. Yee! 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 After a night of hunting, the bobcat plays and wrestles with her cub. A gentle paw holds the cub while her rough tongue licks. When the tongue bath is done, mother and cub curl up. Desert clean and content, they go to sleep in the pre-dawn light. So this baby bobcat got a bath when his mom licked him all over. Would you like your mom to lick you all over to give you a bath? That would be silly for us, huh? But that's how bobcats, babies take baths. All right, my friends. So we saw animals from the whole day, from dawn into the night, until dawn's just about to come again. There are animals that are awake all night long. 